All right, Shannon, here's the deal on this last swing in particular. That looks so much better on the video, even though we weren't working on this particular angle on the video compared to what you had a few weeks ago through impact. See where that left hand was still visible at this point in the follow through because you were so much over the top that you had to keep the face open to hit the ball relatively straight with your cut and those arms were really far apart but now your arm extension's gotten better partly because you're feeling those softer hands through impact today and then from this down the line angle this one man looks just about oh no I didn't save all my oh no maybe I did yeah I thought I did yeah all my curly cues alright so here, here's the deal this one looks straight back and straight through this last little wedge you hit you know it feels to you like you're really having the backward loop there dropping it back toward the line when in essence it's really pretty much straight back and straight through according to the video but now that was cool right there wasn't it there you see that little flattening out see it's more steep and then it flattened out and so that's better than what we started with today where you know it was real flat on the backswing and then just a little bit above the downswing plane line but there's that red arrow where again on the backswing it was flat and steep whereas this one again you just made there was so much more straight back and straight through beautiful and as we went through it today yeah, this was starting out from the face on angle so already your release was getting better today but now it just feels even better from that face on angle and then here this was you starting to feel the correct kind of loop feel where you're taking it up more steep and trying to drop it back on the plane line so that's definitely the good opposite loop there yeah so there's another good one no ball so that one looks pretty sweet and then the first one with the ball looked pretty good oh I'm sorry it didn't look too good where yeah you took it up more but there was still the bad loop right there and then here it got a little better as you went through the next couple balls so that was close to being the same path back and through this one was also close to being the same path back and through but those ball flights were really open I mean the face was really open on those ball flights again this is close to being the same path back and through and then I said man let me see you do it some smaller ones so there you really took it there you dropped it back you know very nicely and here there again dropped it back pretty nicely but then it looked all the better on that last one man you did a couple good ones and then I wanted to get it from both angles yes because that feels so much different through impact there and then because again it feels softer right if, and you know it feels like the club that's whipping more instead of your hands being so stiff through impact holding the face open so again there's the steep backswing dropping back toward the wall behind her uh, let's see find you a couple others that we looked at there's a good one here where it's steep on the backswing flattened out a lot on the downswing here's one again the red line is the backswing the orange line is the downswing there's the backswing flattened out to the downswing here's another one steeper on the backswing flattened out on the downswing and these are all different degrees of flattening out you know but it's just kind of nice to see that happen and and you start to have a feel for it in a general sense here's another one oops that's Kenny Perry down at Valhalla in the 08 Ryder Cup I really want to find those huh okay I'll find it Remember, one was Price and one was Perry. There we go. Yeah, there we go. 
the red line being the backswing when his hands are about shoulder height, the orange line being the shaft right there on the red line on the backswing, but then by the time his hands get back to shoulder height on the downswing, it'd be more there, it's flattened out, and then I really want to find that one of Price. Yeah, but that was face on. There's a down the line one. Well, we looked at it, didn't we? Yeah. I really want to find that for you just so it's on your recording. We'll say price D for down the line. There it is. Again, the back swing is the yellow, the orange is the down swing. There's the back swing, and the club shaft flattens out on the down swing. All right. So that's hot there, bud. Again, I'm not. I'm, I'm kind of helping you with the positions today, but mainly just feeling the overall feel of that loop. And again, see there are different amounts of the loop there on all those tour players we looked at. So I don't care how much of a loop it is for you. I just want it to be a little more conventional instead of being way underneath the backswing on the on the plane on the backswing and then on the line on the downswing. Any questions about that? That's great work.